What is up everybody, it is Wick here. We're about to go out, look for some things we can flip online. Places like eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Amazon. These actually sold on Macari. I've been selling on some different platforms, especially shoes and clothing. Started using some software called Prime Lister that lets me cross list my items easily. I did a video about it. If you missed it, check it out if you're interested. I also have a link in the description for that. But I had these cross-listed on Poshmark, Macari, and eBay, and they sold on Macari for $25 plus shipping. I sold this commercial stapler I picked up at a thrift store for $2. I sold it for $15 plus shipping for a total of $28.81. Sold these Speedies on eBay. I paid $5 for these at a Goodwill. They've never been opened. I sold these for $30 plus shipping. Pretty good flip. Sold this Sesame Street figure set. I sold this for $20 plus shipping. It's an international order. The person ended up paying $72.86. Not sure what country it's going to. This is a great example of why the eBay Global Shipping Program works. When I first bought this at Goodwill for $5, I could sell it for about $40. However, a lot of other sellers come in. It must have been clearance from a store and it just became way too available. So I'm like, oh, well, I waited too long to list this. Now I'm not going to make as much money. So I just priced it 20 plus shipping and figured it would sell when it sells. There are some people that were selling it for $20 free shipping. I wasn't going to do that. Uh, mine sold really quick with an international order. So pretty happy. Shipping out some Lewis and Clark rubber boat shoes. Picked these up at Goodwill for $5. Sold them for $35 for a total of $46.97. This is the complete Bible on CD. I picked this up at a church rubbish sale for $5. I sold it for $39 plus shipping for a total of $47.13. Next, I'm shipping out these Smart Cover Concealment Kits I got at Walmart. Uh, you can see I paid $4.97 for them there. And yes, I'm taking those stickers off before I ship them. I sold them for $32.35, so some pretty good profit. I get inside of a Goodwill and start looking, and I see this Hydro Stick. And I just picked up one of these two or three days ago, and it's worth $95 on Amazon. There's another one here. I don't know if it was out before or, you know, it's something they put out again, another one later. And maybe it's one of those things where there's 10, 20 in the back and they're just bringing them out casually. Have to keep an eye out for them because, yeah, good profit on those for sure. We are looking for some items here to flip. Got that ice tray right there. I think it's called a quick cube made by Rubbermaid. That one's not actually a quick cube. It's a, like a knockoff brand, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, some of those quick cubes I've sold before, I've got them for a dollar or less and they sell for right around $20 and they ship first class. So if I find them cheap enough, I pick them up. Over here in the stationery, we got a, what is that? Some sort of crafting item. I think it's a, like a punch cutter for a shape of a butterfly or something. I don't do a lot of scrapbooking or anything like that, so I don't know for sure. Uh, we got some, what is this? Uh, some sort of spy tech laser type thing. It looked like junk to me, so I put it down. Uh, actually, vintage spy tech stuff is pretty valuable, like the stuff from the 90s, like I had when I was a kid. That wasn't what that was, though. And yeah, we ended up not picking up anything over here except for that hydro stick, which goes to an air purifier. So we keep looking, uh, come over here. This is an aisle I don't look in a lot. We got a chest set there. It's just a kind of a basic one. I don't think it has much resale value. I touch this and it just feels like it's going to explode in my hand because it's made so cheaply. So when you touch stuff like that, you just know it's not worth picking up to buy to resell. Baskets, you know, I don't really look at baskets. There's some good baskets to buy and sell. Uh, I just don't feel like going through every basket, I guess. Um, not something I really focus on as a reseller. I never have. We've got these signs. I'm not a fan of those signs that have all the weird text and sayings on there. <laughs> just, they're kind of cringy. Uh, stuffed animals. We dig through those some. Just recording right now. Got a game up here. Watch. What is it? Watch my mouth or something. Watch your mouth. $2.99 sealed, wasn't worth picking up. There's a Home Alone game I spot there. It was 99 cents, that Home Alone game. It's actually selling pre-owned on Amazon for some pretty good profit, so I did grab that. 
Uh, looking at the sporting goods stuff, there's a fishing pole, is a cheap one. But up here I spot a big bolo. Uh, if you don't know about these bats, know about them now <laughs> because they're worth picking up. Um, I forget what they're called exactly right now. Power bat. Um, Mark McGuire power bat, I think it is. Unfortunately, that one had quite a bit of wear and even some damage, but I'm still going to buy it and try to sell because uh, they can sell upwards to $80, $90 in good condition. Uh, so, you know, we'll try to make some money on it. I just couldn't leave it there. I just never come across those. So we're in a new Goodwill and I spot this uh, flashback game and I spot right below it, I think, or right next to it, a uh, phase 10 dice. The flashback game wasn't worth picking up because it was only selling for like $10 on Amazon new. There's some Harry Potter playing cards. I, I think they were new. I don't know. Maybe I should have paid more attention to them. I, I kept seeing stuff that was interesting. Uh, there's a puzzle. I wanted to see this puzzle. Uh, no, actually, it's not the puzzle I picked up today. I picked up a puzzle today. And I thought it might have been that one because I ended up leaving that one. I don't remember why, though. But I, I keep seeing items that I'm like, oh, these this might be worth money. I was just in here like the day before, so I didn't really expect to find anything. Uh, I didn't grab a cart. I just come in here real quick. And <laughs> you know what? I kept seeing stuff. It just goes to show you every time I don't grab a cart. It's just like, oh, I just want to put this stuff in my cart so I can look it up later. And I just went ahead and sat stuff down and went and got a cart after I finished recording some video footage here. Uh, put back a lot of stuff, though. A lot of that stuff wasn't worth picking up. I thought this was American Girl, but it was our, our generation. I see those a lot. I always think they're American Girl. Um, Look like, a, what was that? One of those Fortnite bazookas. I don't think that was worth anything. They're too new. Um, I don't know what else I got here. I don't remember exactly. A little bag. I'm just kind of like, I better go get a cart and start looking up some of this stuff because... You know what? I don't want to just leave it on the shelf. Come, Someone walk by and just grab it. I've had it happen before. Uh, over here, though, in the electronics, we still got a lot of familiar items. We keep seeing these same items, right? But down here is something new. It's an LG Blu-ray player. I'm not interested in it, though. At $6.99, no remote. Uh, in the back, I see a VCR. And it's one of the SV2000s, I think. I can't remember who makes those. It seems like Funai, maybe, of Sylvania. I forget the price. I think it was like $4.99, $6.99. No remote. It wasn't a good value VCR for me. I just decided to leave that as well. Probably something I'd end up having to return. It wouldn't work. Uh, we got something here. Just checking to see if some of these appliances are new. They're not really worth picking up unless they, they're new inside. Uh, of course, there's some appliances very much worth picking up pre-owned. Here's some hair curlers, hair rollers, babyless. Uh, that really see that brand too often one was missing a roller the other had a cracked one <laughs> so we ended up leaving them they were $7.99 probably could have made a little bit of money but I'm going to go through some of this glassware and kind of just knickknack stuff you can let me know if you see anything that you think is valuable again this is one of those categories I'm I don't spend a lot of time looking at the mugs but um, every now and then I find something. I just recently sold a Cleveland Brown Santa statue. I think I sold it for $30 or $40 that I picked up on one of these in caps. So I know there's definitely money to be made. It's just a lot of this stuff just so, you know, it, it, it would never sell. So you gotta have an eye for it. You gotta, it's gotta be something you've looked at. I mean, you know, you put some time in to do research and I've been doing it more. Uh, especially on days like this where I'm spending a bit more time sourcing. I'm not in a huge hurry or anything. Uh, it's like, yeah, I'll look up some stuff. But yeah, I bet there's some stuff here that, you know, I could buy. That's People are like, hey, that's a bolo. <laughs> Let me know. Uh, I'd be very interested to know. So Salvation Army, look at this, a bag of Ninja Turtles. I was thrilled to see this on the shelf. $7.99. I'm happy to pay it. There wasn't anything super great in there. Uh, but still, I, I've started collecting Ninja Turtles stuff. And, uh, of course, I've mentioned my Krang find at a Goodwill for $2.99. It's worth about $300 now. So, happy to find that. Uh, Peter Millar. It's got stains all over it. Not worth picking up. I think Peter Millar stuff's well over, way oversaturated. Uh, I haven't checked prices on Peter Millar in so long. Not really interested in buying it. Anyway, um, it's never been a brand that seemed to move that well. But you know what? Today in the Salvation Army, 
Actually, Saturday in Salvation Army, uh, when I wasn't recording a vlog, I found some absolutely incredible finds, and I'm going to show you those in the haul part of the video. So let's just jump over there, and I'll show you um, my incredible finds. Here's the haul, but I want to show you some stuff I picked up Saturday when I wasn't recording a vlog, because it's some pretty good stuff. Let's just start here with this Pittsburgh Penguins jersey. $3.99, it was half off, it was on a new rack. So there was a clothing reseller in there I noticed and I saw the rack and I'm like, oh, he's probably already been through this. Started looking and I saw this and grabbed it and then that's when he noticed the rack and came over and looked. So very lucky to get this, I guess. But some of the comps on these were really good, $75 to $150 some of these sold for. Very clean and very good condition. So for $2, that's an incredible pickup. And then I picked up these Jordans and it's kind of interesting how I got these. The day before I saw them and they were priced $20 and they're in pretty bad shape. I don't know if you can tell on camera. They're pretty good. I think the value of these in really good condition is about $120, $150. There's actually two pairs there. There was another pair of Jordans that were white. They were in really bad condition. They were also priced 20. I knew half off day was coming, so I figured I'll just wait and try to get them for $10 and just kind of sell them in the condition they're in. Uh, someone will probably buy them and refurbish them. However, when I went in today, I saw these and I looked on the bottom here and the price was now $7.99. And you can tell somebody probably peeled off the $20 sticker and put $7.99 on there. So I'm like, oh boy, um, I guess I'm going to get these for $4 now unless they suspect me of doing it. So I went up to pay for them and the lady said, wow, these are only 99 cents. And it turns out, uh, yeah, white was 99 cents the day. So definitely somebody switched these off because it takes about three to four weeks for the price to get to 99 cents. I didn't want to be a suspect so I told her yesterday they were $20 and I was going to pick them up today and now they're $7.99. I said I don't know if someone switched the tags. She's like well it's your lucky day you get them for 99 cents. So I got these Jordans for 99 cents. Again you know I don't know how well they're going to do. I have to look up comps again and kind of estimate on condition actually they're not that bad now that i look at them i'm looking through the camera so i really don't know um maybe i should have even picked them up at 20 i think i probably could have sold them for 40 i don't know either way 99 cents i'm gonna do very well and if you caught the video where one of the salvation army employees gave me a bunch of super nintendo games and controllers that he found in his attic he didn't give them to me he sold them to me for 25 dollars. mario rpg was in there so it turned out to be a great lot and it turns out he ended up finding the Super Nintendo and the cables. There's even a DS cable in there, which makes me kind of excited he's going to find more video game stuff. So he said there should be a lot. He just doesn't know where it was. I guess his wife used to have the stuff. So hopefully he keeps finding the stuff and bringing it to me. He also found another game, Mario All-Stars, which is a pretty good game. I think it's about a $20 game, right? And yeah, the Super Nintendo, I looked up the value because I have plenty of Super Nintendos. I even have multiple copies of All-Stars. So this, this is something I'm going to sell, not collect. The Super Nintendo prices were very high and around $150, $200 in some cases with some multiple games. I'll probably throw in Mario All-Stars, two or three, you know, just budget games, two controllers. Uh, and this Super Nintendo is in really clean condition. I mean, it's got some like surface dirt, but these things usually when you find them, they've yellowed. Uh, this one is actually, when, once you clean it up, it's going to be in great shape. I might even keep this one and sell maybe another one I have that's more yellowed. Either way, it's going to be some great profit. I paid $15 for it. So all that was from Saturday when I wasn't recording a vlog. But I wanted to show it to you because I thought it was interesting stuff, interesting finds. But let's jump over here. We got some stuff I picked up at Goodwill. Back here, one of these Vortex Mark McGuire bats these things are a bolo if you didn't know about them unfortunately this one has some scuffing uh broken piece of plastic here which doesn't affect the bat too much so i'm not going to get top dollar for it but these things in good condition sell between 60 85 bucks new you're looking at 200 or more dollars so for 3.99 you know i don't know what i'm going to get exactly i'll probably price it 20 or 30 dollars hopefully it will sell i think i can buff out some of these scuffs maybe a little bit picked up a game of thrones card game you know what i just got it because it's a dollar 99 and sealed it's not big money i think it's selling for like 10 bucks i'll probably just save it for now and just see what happens um, maybe it's something i want to keep for myself even eventually here's something uh they were only two dollars uh, electric football action figures cleveland brown $1.99, uh, there's a listing on Amazon, but it's restricted, there's no one selling. Couldn't find any comps on these, but you know what? I'm probably going to price them about $20. I bet somebody out there will want these. Picked up some of these Care Bear plush, uh, new with tags, and uh, I just scanned one of them, a Grumpy Bear, wherever he is. 
Oh, there he is, right there. And so the comps were pretty good on Grumpy Bear. I think there was one that even sold for $40, uh, but $25, $30, some of them were selling for. And that's for this 8-inch one. If you had the full-size one, it's even more. Uh, this is a, some sort of collectible anniversary set. I paid $7.99 for each bag, so $4 per Care Bear. I haven't even looked up the other ones yet, but, you know, with Grumpy Bear being that much, I figure I'm, I'm going to make profit on the other ones. And I also picked up this Psyduck, is it? Not too good with my Pokemon. Yes, yeah, Psyduck. $1.99. Look like, you know, with the tags, I can probably sell this for $14.99. For $1.99, I'm going to go ahead and grab that as well. Here is one of my most exciting finds probably this year. Just because I got into a phase this year where I wanted to start collecting Ninja Turtle stuff. And I've been trying to find figures at yard sales and I have not really found anything. But here is a bag, Salvation Army, $7.99, what I paid for it. And you can see there's some decent stuff in there. You got uh, Casey Jones back here. He's even got his little golf bag. Uh, doesn't have the bats or the golf club, unfortunately. Uh, Leonardo movie star figure, which I think is probably the most valuable one in here, maybe 20 bucks. I guess it's the Bebop and Rocksteady, which I wanted the Bebop and Rocksteady and Shredder the most because I found a Krang one year at a Goodwill for $2.99. But yeah, I'm going to save most of those probably, but still resell value. I'll kind of estimate it and put it on the screen. Another find I'm really happy with because I just picked up one of these at the same Goodwill for $5.99. Some sort of air treatment system part for a humidifier. They're on Amazon for $95. And here's another one. So I'm, I, don't, I don't know if it was out and I missed it. They probably put both of them out and I just didn't dig well enough to come across this one. Still, it's incredible profit on Amazon. So that's where that's going to be sold. Went and picked up this Rescue Heroes for $2.99. Just because of it's more unique. I looked it up. Looked like it was selling maybe for 20 bucks by itself. Uh, but last week I picked up a bunch of Rescue Heroes at a Goodwill for 99 cents a piece. I'm going to be doing a lot of those. So I don't know if I'll sell this separate or just lot it with the other ones. I figured I'll, I'll go ahead and pick it up because there's a little bit of money to be made. It's in very good condition. Pay 99 cents for this Home Alone game. It is pre-owned, but I scanned it on Amazon. It was selling for about $30 pre-owned. So I figured, you know what? Christmas is coming up. 99 cents is a low gamble for about $20 profit. I was leaving Goodwill and I noticed this was behind the cash register. And I asked to see it. It's a poker parlor game. And you can see everything in here sealed. They got the certificate and the paperwork. And I guess this is just a remake of something maybe popular. Um, Pressman. It's not great money. I looked it up real quick and I saw some comps around $30, I thought. But I was checking out, so I didn't spend a lot of time researching it. I just said, for $6.99, it's new. I'll take it. Um, but I think I'll make some money on this. It's pretty nice. Here's a great find. Phase 10 bonus pack with Phase 10 dice. Again, I've mentioned this bolo many times. Phase 10 dice. I've probably mentioned it so many times that so many people are finding it now that the price is going down. That kind of happens sometimes when I talk about items. That's why some items I don't talk about, I don't share that I find because I want to capitalize um, before everyone else finds out about them. But honestly, I, I've been finding Phase 10 more often than I probably should. So here's another one I paid $2.99 for, open it up, it's complete. I just picked up this same bonus pack at a yard sale. I think I paid 50 cents for it. Uh, last Phase 10 dice I sold was for about $60 and that was sealed and it was in a tin. This one, you know, probably sell it for 35, 40 bucks. I don't think this is on Amazon anymore, so I have to sell it on eBay. Um, when you could sell it on Amazon, they were selling for like 80 bucks. It was crazy. I grabbed this Suncor equalizer. It's basically a fan you put over a vent and it circulates the air better. $4.99. Uh, new, these things are selling for about $40 on eBay. So I'll probably sell this one about $30 plus shipping. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. It's very clean. I have some fond memories of these because Lowe's clearance them out early in my retail arbitrage buying. And I don't know, I bought like 30 some of these and I made some great profit on Amazon. I think they were selling for about $60. I was getting them for about seven. I don't think the listings on 
Amazon anymore, or I'd probably sell it there pre-owned. But still for $5, I can plug it in and see if it works. If it doesn't, I'll return it to Goodwill for a $5 store credit. If it works, we're going to make some money. Got this Sharp VCR. I actually just got the remote a couple of days ago for this unit. I believe with the remote, I'm going to be selling this for about 50 bucks plus shipping on eBay. This is one I won't sell on Amazon. I don't think it had a listing. And then finally, I grabbed these uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Uh, Disney Store plushes, they got the tags on these as well. These came from Salvation Army, and they were half off, so I paid a dollar a piece on them. Unfortunately, we're missing two of the dwarves, so I don't have a complete set. Because I saw a comp where the seven dwarves did sell for $30, but it was missing Snow White, so maybe since I have Snow White and five dwarves, I can get, you know, $20, $25 for them. All mine also have the tags, and they're in really good condition. It's not going to be big money, but in the end, it's just some more profit, and that's why we're here. But that's going to do it for the video, everybody. I really appreciate you watching. If you could do me the favor of hitting that like button, or even dislike button if you didn't enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate it. Be subscribed if you want to see more videos. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Until next time.